Hey everybody, today we got another CUDA software worksheet tutorial. This time it's the segment edition postulate. This is for all my geometry students out there and anyone else that just wants a little bit of fun with segments. Let's get started, let's dive right into it. What is the segment edition postulate? Let's start there. So let's say we have a segment, okay, and a segment has two endpoints. It's not like a line that has two arrows going off infinitely forever and ever, amen. But instead we have something, let me get a different color here. Okay, something that looks like this. Now what this essentially means, if we were to break this up into its smaller segments, we'd have like this guy right here, whoops. We'd have this distance right here, okay? That's a segment. We have another segment right here, okay? He'd go to here, we have another segment. And then of course we have the big segment, the big segment in green, all right. So the, the segment addition postulate is pretty straightforward. It's just saying, if you were to add this purple and blue segment together, then you would get the length of the whole one, the green one, okay? The green one is composed of its smaller segments, the blue and the purples. So they need to add up into an equation that makes a true statement. So for number one here, if we know that the big guy, and that looks like HF, so this is HF, okay? And to write a segment, you go like this. It could also be written as FH. Okay, so if that is segment right there is 10, and we know that this little itty bitty segment, let's call this the purple guy, is one, then to find this other segment, we simply subtract, because we know that, let me, uh, actually this time it's blue, isn't it? The blue is the, the big segment. So HF is the big segment, and we know HF is equal to 10, okay? But we're gonna get to that in a second. Instead, we're going to say HF is the sum of its smaller components. So GF is one of those components. And then we have the mystery, HG. So plus, and let's not confuse you guys, let's use like red or something, All right? Plus HG. So that's that, this segment right here, the unknown, is in red. So how do we do that? Well, we, we just plug in our values and it turns into equations. So we have 10 equals GF, that's 1 plus hg, we can call it a variable, we can call it whatever we want, let's we'll just call it x. As you can see here, it's a pretty simple process. We try to get the variable by itself and we get nine equals x, x equals nine. So we have our missing value there. And that's really all there is to it. So if you wanted to do another one real quick, um, we could say that this guy, we have 30 minus 14 and that's 16. So this little unit is 16. We could do this guy over here real fast and we can say, okay, find HJ. Well, HJ is this unit here. We know this is 12. Okay. We know this is seven. Okay. So this, let me change the color of this seven. Let's change it to blue. Okay. So you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on a second, Mr. West. I don't know what this segment is. Well, you know that the two plus that purple, so this two plus the purple needs to equal seven. So two, two plus five is clearly equal to seven. So now we have, uh, oh, HJ. So we need to find HJ now. HJ is the sum of this purple and this red. We'll call it pink. So HJ is 12 plus uh, five, which is 17. Okay, so that's how you do it. You just gotta break it up into its lower components. It may take you a while to get Okay, uh, but you, you just break it down. Let me do another one and go a little bit slower. So we have the big one, which is 49, another small one, 30. And I would highly suggest using uh, a highlighter. So let's make my big one blue again. Okay, so big, big blue here, that's 49. We have this guy, in, we'll call him in green, 16. And we're asked to find EC. So we wanna find, we wanna find this red length. Let's make that red again, okay. So we know that's 16, so essentially what we need to do here is we need to find, we need to find this purple in order to find the red. So the purple plus the green, so that's ED plus DC is gonna be equal to EC, okay? So that's one, one equation that we need, and we already know DC is 16. So we can plug that in, but we don't know ED. What else do we know? Well, we know that um, we need to get another equation with ED that we know. So we know that ED plus this guy, let's make him orange, okay, and that's DB, 
we know that ED plus DB is going to be equal to our big guy. Remember our big guy? That's EB. The thing is, we know some of these values here. We know that EB is 49. We know DB is 30. So now we can use the subtraction property of equality to easily find ED. So we subtract 30 from both sides, minus 30, minus 30, and we get 19 equals ED. Now that we have ED, we can find EC. Why? Well, because we can plug in 19 for ED. We know that DC equals 16, and now we just add them together to get EC. Isn't that EC? Ha, ha. What a great joke. So we have 19 plus 16, that's 25, 35. I double check the 30, 15, 35. Okay, so that's, that's our answer there. So hopefully that makes it a little bit more clear. This one you would just need to draw the pictures on. I'm gonna skip over it. I really wanted to get to here. Okay, so now we have, um, I'll do a picture one just so you can see. So let me draw this out real quick. Let's go purple. So we have purple. And we know that AC, ABC, our collinear point B is between A and C. Okay, that makes it clear. So we have A and C, and then we have point B somewhere. And it doesn't really matter where you put it. it just, it's just for visual. So we have AC, we'll make that orange. No, let's make the big guy in blue. Let's stick with that. Stick with the game plan. So we know this blue guy is... 3x plus 3. Ooh, now we got variables. Okay, let's make this guy green. So AB, we're going to make this guy negative 1 plus 2x. And then BC equals 11. Find x. So BC, let's make him purple. Uh, no, purple we already used. Let's make him red. So we have red here. Sorry, it's, I hope you guys don't get triggered by that. And we know this is 11. I'm going to lower it. I know you guys are going to complain. There we go. So we have BC equals 11. Now, we need to come up with an equation here, and it's not too bad, really. It's, it's, it's really not hard. We know that these two added together is going to be equal to 3x plus 3, so we just do that. Okay? So we say negative 1 plus 2x plus 11 equals 3x plus 3. Clean up first. We're going to combine negative 1 and 11, so we get 10. So we get 10 plus 2x equals 3x plus plus 3. I always like moving over the smaller variable, so we get x plus 3 equals 10. Subtract 3, we get x equals 7. That's all there is to it, folks, and if we wanted to, we could find the whole length. We could plug 7 into x. We get 23 times 7, 21, 24. So we know that this whole length is 24. Isn't that rad? Okay, so not, not too bad there. We just need to do uh, put it into equations. Let's do one more. Uh, I'm just trying to try to think. Yeah, I'll take on I'll take on a tar hard one. Let's do 18. Why not? Okay, so it says find EG. Uh, this is my last one for sure. EG is this guy. We'll make him red. Okay, so EG is this guy. We don't know what he is. We're trying to find him. So we need to find some other building blocks first. We know the big guy, big guy in blue. He's EH. Okay, so we have EH here. So what do we need for to find red? Well, we already have this guy, okay? We already have FG, that's a part of red, but we need this guy right here in purple. We need to find EF before we can find EG. So we need to have some segments that have EF as a component. Well, big blue has EF as a component of that. Uh, big blue is the sum of, check this out, big blue is the sum of the purple, I don't like that, is the sum of the purple and the pink. So pink plus purple is going to be equal to the blue. So what does that do for us? Well, we can say that, uh, mm, but no, we don't, we need, do we need another part of purple? Well, we can say that, um, oh, I think I have a better, better idea. So I'm trying to think here, and I can't think of a, I don't want to use another variable y and say, oh, 12 plus y equals 26 plus x. I don't want to say that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to find another one that has purple in it. So look here. I'm going to get rid of this 12 here. I'm not going to use it for now. I'm going to change purple to this guy. Why am I doing that? Well, purple is composed of both 
green, and uh, purple. Pink is composed of both green and purple. And just, just a heads up, pause. There's multiple ways to do this problem, but this is the way I'm gonna do it, okay? So we have x plus 23 is equal to, I could have done it a different way, but that's okay, is equal to uh, green 14 plus x plus ef. I very much could have done it the other way that I started. You could have said 12, uh, the blue minus 12 equals ef. I could have done it that way, I'm sorry. I decided to change course. But uh, yeah, I just, I just thought this way would be better. I don't know why, but it's pretty much the same thing. So now what I need to do is I need to get EF by itself. So I subtract X from both sides. I get 23 equals 14 plus EF. Sorry, it's not in purple. I'm gonna subtract 14, subtract 14. And I get, what do I get? I get EF equals, what is that, uh, six, nine? So I get nine, yeah. So EF equals nine. Now, with this information, I can find EG. Okay, so EG is going to be equal to um, well, first I should find X. Let, let's do that first. So I know that blue sorry, I'm, I'm th clearly thinking this as I go. So tw uh, this is the blue is equal to uh, this guy. We'll make him, I don't know, yellow. Okay. So it's going to be equal to 12 plus, what are we going to add? 9. So if I'm solving for x, I do 12 plus 9 is, what, 23? No, 21. 21 equals uh, 26 plus x. So x equals, well, look at this, negative 5. So now that I have that, that's equal to negative 5. I can find the length of the green guy by putting negative 5 in there. And I find that that's also 9. 14 minus 5 is 9. So now I do EF plus this one plus the green one gives me the red one. So 9 plus 9 equals EG, 18. So you can see these are kind of complicated. They're nice little puzzles. Hopefully you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time on Watch Six Plains Best. Bye.